What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So tonight I have the whole night to myself. I am completely free. There is nothing I have to do. So I thought it would be fun to experience a variety of K-pop groups that I am not familiar with that plenty of you have been leaving lots of recommendations for. So in this video, we are going to be discovering Stray Kids. They apparently are under the same label as TWICE, so it'll be interesting to see uh, any similarities or differences between the two groups. So let's check out Stray Kids. So we will be listening to two to three songs, maybe two, maybe three. But uh, the first song for Stray Kids that I was recommended was Case 143. This came out oh, relatively new, so 2022. September 23rd. There is something that I am noticing in a variety of music videos. What does this number right here mean? You know, like, I see, like, a 12 here, but it's not always the same number. I know in the bottom left, they usually tell you, like, maybe the platform it was on. I see MTV down there sometimes, and then the release date. But what is 12? Here we go. I like the bandage. Choreography. <laughs> that was a transition. How many members are in the group? Oh, I like that. Uh, I'm gonna... I really like this choreography. That outfit is something. I, it would completely call me on guard, but I'm digging it. Why is his English literally the smoothest, slickest thing? That was awesome. <laughs> what just happened? I cannot explain this reaction we go for. I'm gonna let you know that I'm just gonna go and hold you so never. Oh my god. These moves. Case 143. This was a thing. This was a whole mood. I like this. This was very fun. There's a couple things I'm going to take away from it, but I do like... The thing that stands out to me the most was when the when the guy jumped in, like, in the middle of the, of the video, and he kind of, like, just rewound it. That was... 
Oh, completely unexpected. Right there, right here. That's a whole aesthetic. It's actually quite perfect. If you look closely, I mean, let me zoom in for you guys. If you look at the bottom left, it's identical. Like this is mine, but the one in the video is right there. It's it's actually perfect. I love that. I was not expecting that. And then another thing that I noticed, and this is because I'm so used to like YouTube nowadays, because I'm like kind of living on the platform. When he tries to break through the screen, hold on, too fast. Hold on. Yeah, right up here. They have the uh, Stray Kids in the search bar. It's identical. They're using dark mode, though. Uh, then we have the upload button, and then the notification bell, and then the... I guess their icon is, like, maybe not necessarily their icon overall, but their icon in this music video is, like, a, like a heart monster. Yeah. There's a specific uh, uh, line that I really like. Uh, I'm going to try... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through the lyrics... We're going to decipher anything that we can pull away from it. But there's a specific line. I'm going to, while I go through it, I'm going to point it out. Something I like. There's like this common thing that you usually see in like, like somebody was in a fight. They have like a bandage. <laughs> on their nose. I kind of like that. Was that supposed to be... What's the name of that horror movie? Here's Johnny or something like that. Was that? It could be referencing that. I'm also seeing Fatal Attraction. Could be referencing the movie. Don't know. But this is obviously a movie about them wanting to be someone's boyfriend. Yeah, it's it, this, whatever this is, I love this whole thing. And whoever this one right here is, I noticed him earlier in the music video. God damn, he's good looking. <laughs> I love that blue tiger in the background, but this is so out of left field. What did he just say? I never faked my attitude towards you. No, did he say no cap? <laughs> did he actually say no cap? He does! This is modern. This is modern slang, modern music video. Oh my goodness. This might have been the first time I've ever heard somebody, you know, not American uh, music of no cap. I love that. Why is the turkey so violent though? This, this right here, this is my favorite line of the whole music video. I think it's like the chorus. Losing patience. I love that little section. What is that transition though? It happens again. <laughs> it's so like random. I love it, but <laughs> it's kind of just like out of nowhere. That was the line that I'm confused with. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I want to send my code to you. Eight letters is all it takes. And I'm going to let you know. That I'm not sure. I'm thinking he wants to give the person their, his number. But the alphabet isn't in any phone numbers. I don't think so. But like this over here. I'm going to watch the lyrics some more. This right here is the uh, another part of the music video. Him specifically, I don't know why, but he really stands out to me for some reason. I think it's the brightness of his hair and like the 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 way it's like positioned on it. I don't know why, but he stands out to me the most. I don't know their names, and I will learn them at the end of the music video. That way, I can better understand who's who. But um, as we usually do, we learn the names as well as the fan name at the end of the music video. Uh, that way I can better understand what's, uh, who's who, and I can uh, hopefully put names to faces. Uh, I'm not always good with that. I'm not always good at remembering who's who, but uh, the, more I, the more I watch, I, the more I get better at it, obviously. In the deep, 
Now, I, they're the same people. The police people and the other ones, like the, the, the people in the station, the regular uh, civilians, I guess. They're the same. Like, they're, they're civilians, but it's the same members of the group in, in police uniform. This right here, number one, his voice is so deep, but so smooth. I'm really digging it, but that transition from, I think, police uniform. No, this is kind of, kind of police uniform. But like this right here where he's like flexing, it, I don't know what, I get a specific vibe from it. I feel like, like this is an aesthetic that I know, but I can't pinpoint it on, but he's working it. Good for him. Like, I'm getting, yeah, this is sailor uniforms, but he's not necessarily in a sailor uniform. He's something else. I can't put my finger on it though. Where are these troublemakers? Yeah, this, this, hold on, we'll continue. Right, th that is, right here, hold on. You're pulling me deeper and deeper. I love that. That line. His voice. They all have great voices, but like every now and then it like shocks me. He's does he uh does, does he fluent in English? I I I I do know that there are a variety of members in a variety of K-pop groups that are bilingual. We love that. Uh and, and his English is so good. You're pulling me deeper and oh, I love it. There are some aspects of this song that are just so damn uh, cool, especially the the swiping back in the music video. I really dug that. So, oh, you know, the gist of it, surface level take away from it, they're suffering because they they want to be somebody's boyfriend, but I guess the other person doesn't want them uh, doesn't want them to be in a relationship with them. That's my assumption. I'm gonna double check the lyrics if they mean anything deeper, but that's what I'm getting surface level. I am curious about two things. Case one four three. I know, like eight oh eights. That's a double entendre, I believe. It's an actual police code. I don't know what it means uh, off the top of my head, but it also means something in music. So I believe is one four three a double entendre. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't mean something in music, but it also means something in another uh, capacity. I'm also not exactly sure what these little, like, monsters are, the little heart monsters. But out of all the outfits that they wear, I don't know why, but I get, like, a Monster Hunter vibe from them. Like, if any of you have played Resident Evil, one of the Resident Evils, I guess, their outfits remind me of something like that. I don't know why, but it's just the thing that pops into my head immediately. I'm gonna look up the, um, if, uh, if there's anything I missed. I pulled up the uh, English lyrics and their meaning. Ooh, the font just changed for some reason. Why precisely case 143? It's code for the words, I love you, counting the number of letters of each word. I love you. Oh, that's cool, that's a creative way. I like that. I know they had like a design at the end of the music video where the four and the three kind of like kind of like formed like a heart, but I don't think it was referring to that. That makes a lot more sense. I want to send my code to you. Eight letters is all it takes. Oh, I love you is a complete. I'm not a romantic type, I suppose. It didn't register with me. The code is eight letters composing the sentence. I love you. Stray kids are making an official request to the person they love, like submitting a case, formally asking if they can be their boyfriend. Is this something like, I, I know this happens in anime or in shows, or I guess in real life in uh, Korea or maybe Japan, like a love confession? Uh, I, I am a little bit familiar with that, but is that what it is? Like a love confession and then the, you know, you're hoping the other person like sends it back? We don't do that over here. <laughs> we don't do that in America. Um, we're a lot more, sometimes we're a lot more aggressive where they're like, hey, yo, what's your number? That's kind of rude. It works for some people. Others, it, it could come off as, you know, a little too forward and pushy. Uh, a new case, an unforgettable case. I'm falling for your fatal attraction. I never faked my attitude towards you. No cap. The no cap blew me away. I couldn't believe that. Uh, I loved it, though. 
On their side, they've always been open, sincere about their feelings. On the opposite side, it seems that their feelings are not returned naturally. And that's why the singers are losing patience. This is confirmed by lyrics of another popular song, Taste. The way Stray Kids describe it, love is a force that cannot be tamed and it drags them towards the person they love. It's unavoidable. Stray Kids wonder why they feel this way and why from time to time they have no doubts, but ultimately they cannot resist this feeling. Why do I keep getting attracted? I'm drawn to you like a magnet. Ah! Yep. I'm sorry if I butchered it, but, you know. That is the real meaning of the... of. The lyrics inside Case 143. I am in love with you, totally dragged by this feeling. I officially submit my request to be your boyfriend and demand a formal case about it. An investigation. Investigate your feelings. Tell me if you love me too. I cannot explain why you so much attract me, but after all, it doesn't matter. I want to be your boyfriend. Mmm. Unrequited love. It's a painful thing. Let me double check on something because I'm noticing, and this is something I'm picking up thanks to the explanation. Are these monsters, because specifically in this section of the music video, where is it? When they're in the police station, like right here, this right here where the the hearts are kind of swarming them, and they, they seem happy about it. Is this like, what do you, what do you call it? Like butterflies in your stomach? Like the feelings of love are overwhelming them, but like the cops are coming in to like, because right here when the cops show up, And like, you can see that, you, you, did you see that? It was really fast, I'll, I'll try to slow it down. Let me slow it down. It shoots out of them. The love, the, 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 the butterflies, the feelings, it shoots out of them because the cops are there. Are the cops like monster hunters? And then, oh my God, did you see that? <laughs> That's actually really funny. Look at, the, look, at uh, look at this individual in the background. You see him? Him? He jumps on the chair! This is hilarious! Uh, now, this is too slow. This is not a TikTok uh, edit. That's, um... I think that's what's going on. Let me know what your interpretations of this music video uh, was. Uh, any any Stray Kids stands out there might know more than I do, but that's what I took away from it. And it was it was definitely enjoyable. And but like the music video itself, I loved it. It was really really well done. But the other song I want to listen to, another song that has been heavily recommended to me, has been God's Menu. Apparently, this video is an ultra HD or like ultra widescreen. Oh, it is. It's available in 4K. Oh, that's cool. I, you, it's not often you see music videos available in 4K. Alright, this is immediately going hard. We're shoot oh We're shooting straight in the hard choreography. Oh, I like that. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> God damn, his voice is deep. They're kind of random. This is a random group of girls. I like this. This right here. Oh, I 
집어 너 눈치 보지 말고 저 망설이지 말고 와 비벼 비벼 네 손님 Slick. All right. That goes hard. The thing with Stray Kids was I was, <clears throat> when I was sick, I went to react to them, but I kind of noticed that they go hard, right? And I didn't want to, I didn't want to give them an unfair shake because if you're not in the right mood, it might not hit you as well as it, it, it could if you are, you know, in the mood for something that goes a little bit harder. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you're depressed, you want, you either want like sad music or kind of like hard music. So go, I'm glad that I, I paused and I waited on Stray Kids because this hit me better now than it might have when I was sick, if, uh, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, this is, this is, the other music video didn't go as nearly as hard as this one, but this one is older. So maybe they're changing their style. I don't know. But right off the, I'm going to watch the music video through. I'm going to give my uh, thoughts on what the lyrics could be, but the music video is a little confusing, but it goes crazy hard. And there's one moment I'm going to point out to you guys that I loved. It was, that, well, number one, I love the do, 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 do. I love that. That was good. That was good. That right there. That is sick. That is phenomenal. That's just one of the best transitions. Oh my god. That transition is amazing. That I like that. That choreography, I don't know why, it's pretty simple, but it, it's really effective. That. These are either ninjas <laughs> or people in hazmat suits. But when they shoot in 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 conjunction with the do 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 do, that's good. Do, 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 do. Is it them? Like, is it the stray kids in those outfits? Otherwise, they got some random dancers that are really good. And the way they it, it also transitions perfectly from those individuals to the chefs like this is something you would see in a nightmare like chefs in such a dark pitch black red room you're coming at you with hatchets or something <laughs> So what I'm getting from the lyrics in this music video is sort of specifically when uh, he right here in this specific part, cooking like a chef, I'm a five star Michelin. Chef, I'm a five star Michelin. How deep is his voice for real? I I knew it was deep from the previous one. But damn. Reach the peak of taste. I see it as an illusion. So I'm getting the feeling that this is sort of an analogy between their music or maybe them as a whole and just like cooking in and making music and like re like right here anything on the menu will satisfy all your five senses when you listen to the music you'll love it when you see it you'll love it uh when you taste it i wouldn't go that far um you shouldn't the taste one is uh one of the senses i i, I wouldn't know how to describe but that's what i'm getting i'm getting that whatever they make that you're gonna love it because it's it's five star michelin and Michelin stars signify the quality of, I believe, like a restaurant. Savor it, lick it, say it. Yep. 
And let me take a look at the beginning of the music video again. So they're at a cockpit with racing. I guess that's moving forward. I know that racing was another analogy in another music video where the it was signifying going fast, like moving forward. Because you're going in a straight line, usually in a race. This, they're a bunch of chemists, so they could be concocting things, making music. The marching band? I don't know. This is the same location. This is the easiest one, to, I'm, I'm guessing. This is cooking. This is legitimately cooking. Uh, let them cook, you know, something like that. This is making the music. Similar to the chemist, I suppose. And then we have the race car one again. That right there. Yes, sir, and ma'am. And then that, like, shoot in of the Stray Kids logo. Mm. Yeah, so I'm going to look up the uh, potential meaning behind this song just in case I missed anything. But that was my takeaway uh, overall. Pot's Menu is a song that uses the imagery of a chef creating a new dish as a metaphor for the process of creating music. There you go. Now, this is a very original concept that focuses on the unique flavor and variety of street flavor. food music. And if in the song they promise to serve whatever you want on the menu, serve they do throughout the entire track. But in the video, we also see that this concept is mixed together with racing cars, yep. a marching band, and scientists working on a construction site. Now, at first that glance, is true. All these that is true. It is weird that scientists are usually in a lab; they're not on a construction site. Um, but we'll get clarification on the marching band and the race cars uh, better, uh, just in case I'm missing something. I guess the scientist one could still technically be that they're concocting things in a lab. These elements seem a bit random, right? But as a matter of fact, these are all ingredients that once put together not only portray the unique style Stray Kids is known for, but also the key elements that make their discography the God's menu that it is. Now, let's put these ingredients into context and start with the marching band, which is arguably the easiest element to explain. Oh. By definition, a marching band is a group of musicians who moves in unison while they perform. So mm. right off the bat, the analogy that they are trying to convey here is pretty straightforward. Much like a marching band, the boys heavily rely on synergy, teamwork and synchronization between each other. They're the marching band. In order to deliver the performances that we all love so much. Trey Kids not only make their music from scratch, but they experiment upon it in order to create the perfect recipe. Experimentation with the scientists. Yep, that makes a lot of sense. If you look closely, the boys here are not only surrounded by scientists, but they are the scientists, which implies that an important aspect of their music is definitely experimentation, which makes sense if you think about it, because their music is extremely unique. We have a scene involving a pit stop and we see the members inside of a garage. So once again, the idea that they're trying to convey here is that of teamwork and collaboration. That makes sense. If there's one thing about, you know, like NASCAR, it, when the moment that vehicle hits the uh, station where the uh, the pit crew needs to get on there, if you've ever seen those things, they are so fast. There is like 20 people around there, and we got like three people working on each tire, and they're rear, rear, rear. It's just and then because they can't waste any time lollygagging, they need to get that car at 100 percent and get it out. Speed. Efficiency, collaboration, teamwork. If the car is three kids themselves, behind the scenes, they work with a whole team of people that allow them to perform at the best of their abilities. They're the drivers. The driver is usually the one that gets the full credit, but the whole team, even those working behind the scenes with, uh, you know, fixing up the thing, the, the, the vehicle, shooting and changing out the tires, getting fresh ones on there, they deserve as much credit as the driver because if the dr it's not like the driver can get out and do it all of himself. They just got to get that sucker rolling. Mm, okay, that's a good analogy. I'm going to leave a link to this video in the, in the description box down below. I do love these channels that help uh, us or myself uh, better understand what's going on in music videos. So I'm going to I'm going to click that like button and I am going to obviously leave recommendations for bookish theories in the comments down below. I, I, I she mostly. Yeah. So she does a bunch of theories for Stray Kids. The playlist is right there. So if you want to check her out, uh, feel please do so. Not feel free. Please do so. And 
overall, my thoughts, uh, oh, actually, hold on, we're not just done yet. Here are the members for Stray Kids. We have Hyun Jin, rapper, Felix, rapper, Bang Chen, rapper, Lee No, dancer, I N for vocals, Han for rapper, Seung Min as vocals, Chang Bin as uh, rapper, and Kim Woo Jin as vocals. So we have, uh, how many rappers? Five rappers, three vocalists, and one dancer. Okay. And we have to look up the fan name. So for Stray Kids, the official fan name for them is Stay. Uh, but what is the reason behind Stay? This is the Wikipedia page for them, or Wikia for them. Etymology, stay is stray without the R. The R in stray stands for reason, meaning that their fans are their reason and where they stay. Oh, I like that. Okay, so they yanked out the R because the R is the reason. Gotcha. Solid, solid, solid fan name. Uh, trivia, at the end of a lot of Stray Kids official music videos since the I Am You era, there would be text saying, You make Stray Kids stay, usually in all caps. And the song... Hashtag love stay was mostly written by Hyun Jin and the corresponding hashtag is now associated to him. He uses it in the caption of his posts on Stray Kids Instagram. And these are the songs that are dedicated to stay or heavily themed around their love for their fans. You can stay Haven, My Universe, Star Lost, 24 to 25, hashtag love stay that was mentioned and mixtape mixtape time out. And there you have it. Stray Kids finally listened to for the very first time, between God's Menu and Case 143. Loved both of them. Uh, I would say, preferably between the two, I like Case 143 a little bit more. I don't know why, I just kind of dig it. That music video was really something else. But the uh, the the uh, coolness, I would say, of God's Menu, especially with the heavy uh, editing and hard dance moves and transitioning between the different chemists, the chefs, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And I did appreciate the little cameo that, they, that we have for the... Uh, future girl group uh, that they, that we got in that music video. I thought that was a nice nod to that future coming group. I do know that they have uh, debuts every now and then, so that's pretty cool. Thank you to everyone who recommended uh, this group to me, and feel free to leave any more recommendations in the comments down below. Not just for Stray Kids or more Stray Kids uh, uh, music. You can also leave me recommendations for any other groups. I can confirm that New Jeans and Blackpink are coming to the channel as well. I'm going to be reacting to them for the very first time with actually uh, a little extra focus on New Jeans because they are brand new, so I think it would be good to get in on a K-pop group that just recently came out. So please subscribe if you're looking forward to that as well as a variety of other content on the channel. Things can get a little random on the channel. We have anime stuff, regular TV show stuff, HBO, Disney+, Plus, Marvel, Star Wars... Uh, this is a variety kind of channel, trying new things. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Thank you for being a part of this. Case 143, I only need eight, eight letters uh, to tell you how I feel.